All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. All right, and a double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. All right, now the title of this video is called The Lord is Watching You. See, the Lord is watching everybody on the face of the earth, man. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14. It says, For Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall bring every work into judgment. Now, how is the Lord going to do that? Well, He's bringing every work into in judgment righteously, all right, by watching everything that's going on, man. Okay, and the scripture is going to say that. It says, with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So nothing's really in secrecy at all, man. We how about Shimei was shy. Okay, you might be uh, backbiting, uh, murmuring, you know, uh, to a brother in the truth. Well, the Lord's watching that. You know, you might have decided, you know, you want to sell drugs you know, on the side a few times to make ends meet. Okay. Maybe no one's going to find out where well, Yahweh Shimei was shy is watching that. These are just examples of how the Lord is uh, going to bring every work into judgment, whether it be a secret thing, man. So really nothing, nothing is hidden to Yahweh Shimei was shy. Why? He's watching all of us, man. Okay, and that should put fear in us, man, to fear Yahweh Shimei was shy. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. Okay, it says... It says, um, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, For we must all know some, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So every judgment is a righteous judgment to Yahweh Shemashiach, which the Lord is perfect in all his ways, man. You know, watching every secret thing that's being done, and the Lord is keeping track of those things, man, which he's using the angels to keep account of the things that's going forth. But he's also watching, you know, everything that's going on, man. Okay? And I'm going to read down to verse 11. Matter of fact, let me read 10 again. It says, 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. Now, how are we going to appear before the judgment seat? Okay? Well, the Lord is going to uh, righteously uh, make a judgment according to your works because he's been watching. It says that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done. OK. Whether it be good or bad. Now, judging off of what you have done would only means that the Lord is going to judge you off of what he's been watching you do. You know. It says, whether it be good or bad, you know, having, having brotherly love, you don't need to go over the airwaves and make an announcement, you know, because why? The Lord has already uh, uh, made an account for your goodly deeds, man. Okay, verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right, and you can apply the scripture to the lesson because knowing that the Lord is watching us, and, you know, that should put fear in us, man. That the Lord can bring terror upon, you know, uh, uh, upon the ones that are being wicked. Okay? Being closet homos, you know, uh, corruptors, you know, uh, uh, taking advantage of your neighbor for personal gain. You know, being wicked, man. Worshiping, uh, you know, idols behind the scenes when brothers ain't around. Okay? All right, that, that should put fear in us to, to not be wicked, man, because the Lord is watching, man. It says, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto you, how about Shemia was shy, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. But the point of that lesson is that, you know, knowing that the Lord is watching, you know, and knowing the terror of the Lord, you know, we persuade men to, to repent, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to get right with you, how about Shemia was shy. 
okay? Because he's going to uh, uh, judge you according to your works, man, according to what you've done. All right? The book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 9, and, and it reads, all right, yeah, um, is this the book I want to get? Salakia. Uh, yeah, the book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 19, and his eyes, matter of fact, let me start at 18. For the wisdom of the Lord is great, and he is mighty in power, and beholdeth all things. All right, behold means to look to see, so he's looking upon all things. 19, and his eyes are upon them that fear him. See, the Lord knows the ones of our people that are fearing him, okay? All right, fear is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, pursuing the Proverbs 1 and 7. But the Lord already knows that. Why? He's given the gift of fear anyway, man, but he knows those things. It says, and he knoweth every work of man, okay? And you're, you, the, the way you fear the Lord is shown through your works, man. All right, you keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. All right, you, you, are you calling on the true names of Yahweh by Shemiah with Shai? Are you um, having brotherly love? Are you studying, being diligent, being a diligent servant to Yahweh by Shemiah with Shai? Well, it's going to show forth through the works, and the Lord is going to be watching those things, okay? So again... Sirach chapter 15, verse 19, and his eyes, who eyes you? How about Shemiah Shai? Are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. You know? Not just the wicked, the Lord knows who the righteous are, who are actually being um, diligent behind the scenes. You know? I'm going to bring out this last precept, and I'm going to close out, man. But it's, hey, it's a fearful thing, man. All right? When you know. There's an entity uh, who, whose power is, is greatly, uh, you know, beyond our imaginations and how that he killeth and maketh alive. You don't want to fall subject to um, judgment for being wicked, man. You know, that's what it boils down to. All right. The last priest I want to bring out is Sirach chapter 23, verse 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not the eyes of know if not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Okay? See, that's that's the point, man. I'm going to read that again. Sirach 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and know if not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You know? So the Lord is, 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 is eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. We know the sun. You can't even look upon the sun, man. You know, uh, a certain time of the day, man, because it's so bright. Okay, well, the Lord eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, as the scriptures say. Beholding all the ways of men, meaning looking. Okay, observing all the ways of men. Seeing who's being wicked. All right. Hey, hey, what do you think they got the um, saying from um, Santa Claus, man? You know, he knows if you're naughty or nice, man. They got that from the scriptures, man. Lord is looking upon all men, seeing who's being wicked and who's being uh, who's being righteous. It says, and considering the most secret parts, you know, because there's nothing that can get past the Lord, man. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Matter of fact, Salakia, 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 Salakia. I want to bring out one last precept, because you know, at the end of the at the end of the the, the lesson, the point is. How, how how should we conduct ourselves knowing that the Lord uh, is, is watching everything, right? So when you go to Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, matter of fact, let me start at um, uh, verse 4, okay? Say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. The Lord is patient, okay? And, and look, he's, he, he doesn't move, um, you know, without being patient, man. Okay? But you best believe he's watching. Okay? And eventually your judgment will be uh, brought upon you for being wicked, man. All right? And for those that are being righteous, the Lord is going to uh, um, give salvation to, which is ultimately the elect. Okay? So it, go, it reads on, for the Lord is long-suffering. He will, Sirach 5 and 4, reading on. For the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. Verse 6 And say not, his mercy is great, 
he will pa he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins meaning he will take it lightly of uh, the sins that you've been committing see our people just because uh the scriptures say because sentence against an evil isn't executed speedily it's in the hearts of men to do to do evil all right because they they they've gotten so prideful because the lord is long suffering and don't think the lord is watching man Okay, they, they've taken it lightly uh, the, the, that the fact the Lord is keeping track of the things that we're doing, man. It says, for mercy and wrath come from him. And we can't, we can't forget that, man, that the wrath of the Lord is going to be brought up, is going to be made known, come soon to everyone, man. All right, but he's not going to uh, uh, take it lightly, the wickedness that our people have been doing, man. Okay, it says, and his indignation rests upon sinners. You know, verse seven, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. You know, because the Lord is watching, man. You don't want to be tearing uh, with Yahweh Shem Yahweh you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who are the children of Israel. All right, put away the fat back, put away um, the, the, the swine's flesh, the, the oysters, okay, the lobsters, you know, the crab legs. Put away all that, man, okay? Stop worshiping false idols. Stop worshiping Jesus Christ. You know, bowing down to Buddha and 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 uh, the cobblestone. You know. All right. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and putting that off from day to day. You know, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Yeah, the Lord is watching. The scriptures say the Lord is coming as a thief in the night. Why? Because He's watching, man. He's watching. So it's suddenly going to catch majority of these people off guard, man, majority of our people for being wicked and not taking this thing seriously, man. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. All right. And which is a false security. What you think is going to protect you and keep you uh, uh, comforted. OK, you're going to be destroyed. It says and perish in the day of vengeance. Because it's all about the Lord getting paid back, man, and redeeming the elect. You don't want to get caught up in the wickedness, man, of, of the judgment that's coming forth to the wicked, man. All right? Not taking the, the, the fact that the Lord is watching, man. He's watching all of us. Okay? So repent before it's too late. And on that, I'm going to close out. Before I close, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Mekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible. And who rule well, so lock you. And who rule well. And double honors to the uh, uh, um, to the Akim out there pushing the truth, and truth and sincerity. Shalom.